leadership is something which is very very important for the nations to grow for the families to grow for the society to grow and for the countries to grow at the time before islam as we are talking about the arabs they had absolutely no concept of leadership they had their own interpretation of leadership but the leadership must deliver something to the led that's what we call is the virtual leadership there was absolutely no concept of virtual leadership jo qabile ka ek tribe ka sardar hota tha chahe wo quraish ho or it is banu nuzair or it is kayan ka whatever there were hundreds of tribes the tribal head was everything he was head of the government he was head of the leadership he was head of all the affairs he was head of making decisions or abolishing decisions so virtual leadership was absolutely not known to anyone as to what it is and as i said if the virtual leadership is not there then it's very difficult for a nation for a country even for a community or a group of people to grow well to make strong to make better to progress to move ahead there was no concept of virtual leadership why the only reason was that nothing was known to those ignorant people more than the tribes tribes were restricted to their own self in terms of education in terms of status in terms of prevalence in terms of superiority or inferiority or in terms of do's and don'ts and all that was restricted to one tribe only the other tribe had absolutely a different set of rules we'll call them tribal rules for themselves they also had no common leadership leadership is for all from starting from the poor to the richest from the non educated to the well educated from the one who is well aware of everything and the one who is not aware of anything leadership is responsible for providing and moving them ahead with virtuous think tribal system dominated and nobody could think of anything other than the dominating system of tribal system obviously there were no concept of holding elections the religious there was no concept of education or religious education it was the religious leaders who forced their own beliefs their own ways their own teachings their own thinking on the others and the others had to believe because they were absolutely illiterate they were absolutely ignorant and they knew nothing if he was an idol worshipper then his education was to worship the idol 
If he was worshipping something else, he would guide the people towards that direction. And it is very strange that he was total leader for teaching the belief or the religion which was required. No leader was capable of teaching anything about the religion. As far as Allah is concerned, Nauzabillah bin Zalik, no religious leader taught Allah the previous heavenly books which, was, which were revealed on Hazrat Musa alayhi islam, Hazrat Isa alayhi islam, Hazrat Dawud alayhi islam. Allah ke ilawa wo har cheez ki puja karne ke liye ibadat ka lafz nahi puja ka lafz istemal karna chahiye aur usi janib wo mazbi rahnuma logon ko mail karte the 